has delivered us from the power of darkness and has conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. In other words, He has taken us out of the kingdom of darkness that we once were in, and now He has transported us or has carried us over into a kingdom of love. I don't know if you know, knew this or not, but there are two kingdoms in this universe. Only two ruling realms on this earth. Hallelujah. One is a kingdom of love, a kingdom of life, and a kingdom of light. The other is a kingdom of hate, a kingdom of darkness, and a kingdom of death. So you have a kingdom of death, darkness, and hate. And the kingdom of life, light, and love. The two kingdoms are always at work in any given situation. These two kingdoms are always in play. They're always in action. They're always in the move. They're always at work. The false kingdom and the true kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom of God again is love. Yes. And when we operate or function in the kingdom of love, then you truly live in the light. Yes. Hallelujah. All things and all events become alive. They become vibrant and they become energized by love yes. in the kingdom of love. Everything you do, everything you say, everywhere you go, if you're in the kingdom of love, Everything was going to come out in love. Amen. The false kingdom on the other hand. Is full of darkness. Full of secrets. Full of hate. Full of envy. Full of jealousy. Full of malice. Full of backbiting and backstabbing. Amen. And it's a kingdom. With clever and brilliant lies. Amen. The results of that kingdom of darkness is ultimate death. Pretty much living a dead life. If you're still operating in the kingdom of darkness, whether you know it or not, you are operating in the kingdom of death. Living dead. Hallelujah. That's right. Living a dead life. Meaning that relationships die all hope dies in your life. All joy dies. All rest dies. All peace dead. And finally, death itself of life. Amen. Amen. So you're alive, but you're living a defeated, dead, angry, bitter life. No love. No joy because it's dead in your life. Because you have no life. Amen. You're still operating in the kingdom of darkness. Whether you know it or not. If you haven't accepted Jesus. And been transferred over to the kingdom of light. Love. Then you are operating in the kingdom of darkness. The only way to get in the kingdom of love and light. Is to say you want the kingdom of life and love. If you have never made that profession. Or reached out to God for salvation then pretty much you are operating in the kingdom of death and hate. But I don't hate nobody. I don't do this. You're living in the kingdom of darkness where all that exists. And as nice as you want to be, you're still living in the kingdom of death, anger, and hate, and frustration. Amen? Amen. That's right. We have been rescued from the control yeah. of darkness. Those that want God. We have been rescued from that kingdom of darkness as control. And now we reign in the kingdom of light, life, and love. Amen. That's right. We reign in the kingdom where the Lord is. In the kingdom of the Lord is where all the power is at. Amen. Amen. When we are in the kingdom of the Son of His love. Then we truly reign. Meaning we truly rule. Yeah. Truly we have power and authority to rule over the kingdom of darkness. Yeah, right. 
There's two realms, the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And when you're in the kingdom of light, you can rule over the kingdom of darkness. We have higher power, higher authority to tell the kingdom of darkness to beat it. Amen. To tell the kingdom of darkness to get on. Yeah. To tell that kingdom of darkness sickness don't belong here. Amen. To tell that kingdom of darkness lack is not in this kingdom. Amen. We're in a glorious kingdom, a rich, glorious kingdom. Amen. The kingdom of God. Yes. The kingdom of the Son of His love. Amen. Where all the glory and all the riches are. Yes. So when we're operating in the kingdom of heaven, in the kingdom of love, we lack nothing. We don't lack love. We don't lack stuff. We don't lack anything. Amen? Because everything is an abundant kingdom of glory. I talked yesterday about the heaven being pearly gates and all that. Well, that is here today. Amen? Kingdom come. The kingdom has already come. Amen? The kingdom is already here. When Jesus was born in that manger, the kingdom came. Amen. 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 So therefore the kingdom is here right now. Maybe in a different realm than you're playing in. You're probably playing in the realm of darkness. But the kingdom of light is right there. Amen. Amen. You can't see it with normal eyes. Just turn you need to be born again and have those spiritual eyes Amen. so you can see. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of the rule of heaven coming down to rule over the earth. Hallelujah. When we are in the kingdom of the Son of His love, again, we are truly reigning. Yes. We truly have the power. We truly have the authority over this dark world. Yes. Amen, brothers and sisters. Yes. The kingdom has come. Kingdom come is already here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has delivered him to us through a little woman called Mary. She brought this kingdom through Mary. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For those who are born again, you are in a different government. You are operating under a different district. You are operating under a different rule. Hallelujah. You are under the rule of heaven. Again, with higher authority and higher power. Amen? Greater authority and greater power than every and any power and authority that's on this earth. Over the power of the dark side. Amen? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, the first Christmas in Bethlehem was kingdom come. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Kingdom come is here and full of light, full of life. And full of love. Right now you could be living in the kingdom of life. Amen. Yeah. Instead of dying. Leaving this world. And we're dying our way to the end. You can live all the way to the end. Amen. 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 Why cut short? Because you feel sick. Why cut short? Because you're tired. And say I'm, I'm done. So I'll just go out the rest of my days. Living dead. You're still alive. Amen. Hallelujah. You're Amen. still breathing. Yes. You can still call on the power of heaven in your life. Amen. You can still call on the power and the life and the love that God has for us right here today. Amen. Hallelujah. You can live in the kingdom today. When Jesus came, kingdom came. He brought the kingdom down to this earth. As a matter of fact, He is. The kingdom of God. Jesus is the kingdom of God. He is all that. When he came down, the kingdom came down with them. Jesus said in one point, Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and all things will be added unto you. So see, when you seek the kingdom of heaven, and you get in the kingdom of heaven, everything you need is added to you. Health. Prosperity, healing, and my favorite love. Hallelujah. Amen. Love makes everything good. Amen? Amen. You could be having a bad day, a hard time, a rough week, a rough month, but love just makes it all better. Amen? Yes. If you still got to go through hard stuff, why not do it in love? 
You think you being hateful and mad is going to make your hard time better? No! Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! Love makes everything better. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. Yes, I'm going through trouble. But oh, man, I just love you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah! Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, the kingdom is an actual realm. It's an actual realm that you can enter in today. It's an actual realm that you can know today. And most of all, it's a realm that you can experience for yourself. Right. Hallelujah. That's great. Most people don't even know that kingdom has come. They don't even know that a kingdom exists. They don't even know what the whole purpose of Christmas is. They don't realize that Christmas was kingdom come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Many Christians only operate in the physical realm. What they can see, what they can taste, what they can touch. Amen. Amen. Meaning that you belong to the kingdom if you accepted Christ. But you are operating in the kingdom of darkness. Many Christians live that way. They've accepted the kingdom of light. They know there's a kingdom of heaven. And they're in the kingdom of heaven. But they're operating in the kingdom of darkness. And then we say, why isn't it working? Why am I not getting healed? Why am I still having trouble? Because you're in the wrong district. Amen. The Bible says that you're an alien in this world. You're a stranger. You don't belong to this world. Because now you belong to a heavenly kingdom. Right. Amen? Amen. Yeah. That's right. You belong, you're a citizen of heaven, the Bible says. That our citizenship is in heaven, Amen. in the heavenly realm. Amen. Hallelujah, but we have to operate in that realm. Right now, if you're saved and you've been born again, you got everything God has. You got everything that's in the kingdom. Yeah. But now we got to operate in that kingdom. And the way you operate in the kingdom... It's a kingdom of love. Yeah. If you still got malice, if you still got anger, if you still got confusion, if you've got turmoil in your life, then you're not operating in the kingdom. Anger and your malice and your jealousy and your hate, you're, you're, you're outside the kingdom. Even though you've got it with you, but you're in the wrong district. You're going under the wrong government. You're trying to play rules that don't belong there. Amen? But if you get love and you get the gentleness and you get tenderness and kindness and forgiveness and love, then you begin to operate in the kingdom of love. Amen? Come on. To, get in, to be in the kingdom, you got to operate in the love of the kingdom. Amen? I can't be all angry and expect the kingdom of love to help me. I can't be all angry and mean and expect the kingdom to heal me and bless me. Amen? We have to operate... There's an order in the kingdom, just like our government here. If you break the rules, you go to jail. Amen? Amen? Well, in the kingdom of heaven, there's an order, there's a system, there's a way to stay in it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it ain't rules, it ain't law, I'm not preaching that. It's yourself, inside of yourself. Kingdom of heaven, I want to operate in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. So I have to learn to love people. And God gave me a challenge. He said, Jack, we need to go work. <laughs> Tell me God won't test me, amen? I have to operate. And when he gets all crazy, I got to learn to love him and not be frustrated at when he gets weird. And he wants to me. And I'm the same way. Some people, my wife loves me and I give her a hard time. But she's she operating in love. She oversees all my defects and all my bad because she's operating in love. Amen. If it wasn't for love, I wouldn't be here with her, amen? She's, love is tolerant. She love is long-suffering. Long is patient. And she's been long-suffering, suffering with being patient, <laughs> waiting for me to go around. kingdom of heaven is. Amen. Amen. That's right, brothers and sisters. In the kingdom of God, you have all the power, all the authority over the kingdom of this world. God has sent us into the world, but not to be part of the world, but to rule over the world. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We're like, we're in the world. Yeah, but you're not part of this world. Amen. You're just called to operate in it with authority over it and tell it what to do. Get out of your sickness. 
Get out of here, lad. Get out of here, you yeah. devil. Get out of here, you spawn of Satan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have the power. We have the authority over the enemy, over the sickness, over the lack, over any pandemic that comes our way. God said, no evil will befall you. No evil will come near your dwelling. No sickness. That's operating in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. But only for those who are in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. It's for everybody, but it's for everybody who wants it. Amen. If you don't want it and you don't need it today, that's fine. But just let me tell you something. One day you will need this. Amen. One day you will want this. One day you will be on your back. One day you will be forced to be on your knees. And the good thing about it now is if we surrender it willingly, there's no penalty. All is good and all is forgiven. But if you wait until He makes you do it, then you'll still have to bow and you ain't getting no benefits. The Bible says that every mouth, every tongue every will kneel down and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. One day you will. One day you will. I want to make that day for you today. And just enjoy the benefits of living. Enjoy the benefits of being right. Enjoy the benefits of love. Man, I was never able to say even the word love. There's two words that I could never say. One was Jesus. And one was love. And I found out they're the same. That's why I couldn't say either one. Come on. When I was young and dumb and out there on the street, I couldn't say Jesus. Get out of here. I couldn't say love. Love, that's weak. But brothers and sisters, love is strong. Yes. Amen. It takes a strong man to stand in the face of love and not cower out and go hide his face. Oh, I'm Oh, I'm scared to tell you. That's weak. But we think love is weak. Well, love is strong. Yeah. Look what love did. Yeah. Love sent his only begotten son to be killed on the cross right. for me. Love is powerful. Love is strong. And we're in this kingdom of the son of his love. Amen. Amen. Man, if Amen. you ain't got none, if you ain't got love, then you should start there. If you ain't got Christ in your life, you should start there first. Amen. Before you give, before you go witness, before you go on mission trips, start with love. Amen. Amen. And then everything else comes there. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of love. And all things will be added unto you. Yes. Hallelujah. Very Say bad. amen. Amen. John 3, 3. Jesus answered and said, Most assuredly I say to you, <clears throat> unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Again, it's only for those who are born again. And this religious leader was Nicodemus. Jesus told Nicodemus this. That he had to be born again to see the kingdom of heaven. The religious leader he was could not see the kingdom even though the kingdom was standing right in front of him. Amen. So this tells me that religion won't do it. Nicodemus was a Pharisee religious man and he's standing right in front of the kingdom in his face and he couldn't see it. So that's me you know religion ain't going to do it. Church membership ain't going to do it. Being a good leader at church ain't going to do it. Being a preacher ain't going to do it. Being a teacher ain't going to do it. That doesn't get you into the kingdom. Only the new birth. I got to say, Lord, forgive me of my sin and kill this old self of mine and make me a new creation. I lay it all down, Lord. I, I'm a bad man. And I can't do it without you. I'm a bad person and I need your forgiveness. People think I go to church because I'm all good. I go to church because I need more forgiveness. Amen. I need forgiveness. Yes. Because I'm a bad man. You catch me in the dark somewhere, who knows what I might do. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's in my nature. But I've got a new nature now. I'm born again from above. Born with the life of the love of the Father in me. So therefore, I'm going to operate in the kingdom of love. When I want to hate and smack somebody, I'm going to love them and talk to them. When I feel mad at somebody, I'm going to praise the Lord and bless that 
person. When somebody makes me upset and slaps me on the cheek, I'm going to give them the other and say, do it again. I love you. Amen. You can't make me hate you. Amen. 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 I will not allow you to make me hate you. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm just not going to let you they don't make me hate you. Hallelujah. That's right. The kingdom of heaven is standing right in front of us today. Can you see it? Can you see it? Jesus is standing. He says in the Bible, He's standing on the door, knocking on the door of your heart. You've heard the saying, He wants us to let us in. Can you see Him knocking on your heart? Can you feel Him knocking in on your door, saying, Just let me in. You've been keeping me outside too long. Let me come in and heal you. Let me come in and prosper you. Let me come in and bless you. But you got to do it my way. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. brothers and sisters. Are you born again? Are you born from above? Have you accepted that new birth? That's what it's all about. Only those who are born into the kingdom can see the kingdom of heaven. Like I said, the kingdom come has already come. It's here. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are a new creation in Christ the Lord, you have spiritual eyes now. God, what does He say? He takes the stony heart away from our heart. Gives us love. And then he takes the scales from our eyes so we can see the truth. So right now, if you have been born again, God has given you, has given you spiritual eyes to see, to comprehend, and to understand the heavenly realm. The heavenly kingdom of love. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right, Matthew 4, 16 and 17. The people who sat in darkness, the kingdom of darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region of the shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus was talking about Himself. He's saying the kingdom of heaven, which has already come, is right here at hand. Amen. Able to reach it at hand, right there. Boom. All I got to do is shut my hand and grab it and clean to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. The song, I will cling to that old rugged cross. <laughs> That's what we do. We just cling to that salvation. Just cling to that. Hallelujah. Amen. He was saying that the kingdom of heaven is right here. It's right now. Kingdom come ain't later. Again, kingdom come has already come. It's in our midst. It's in our presence. It's right here, right now. Amen? Amen? John the Baptist came preaching the same thing in the wilderness. Saying, repent, for the kingdom is at hand. For this is He, meaning Jesus, who was spoken by, by the prophet, saying, prepare the way. Amen. So first, John the Baptist sees Him. He says, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is what... Isaiah was profiting about, about this day. Amen? Amen. And Jesus again said about himself, I am here. The kingdom has come. I am who I say I am. Amen? Amen. That's right. We can enter this kingdom today. 2 Peter 1.11 says, For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of Christ and our Savior. An abundant supply of an entryway has been supplied to us to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Man, I love Amen. you so Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Why would we do that for a filthy, scarred up dude like me? Amen? Amen. With all the scars and all the bad stuff and all the sin that was multiplied in heaven, where the Bible says he can smell the stench going up into his nostrils. Mm -hmm. I was letting off some bad fumes. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> but God in his love said, why would you do this? I didn't understand. Why would you do this for me? Because he loves me. Amen. Come on. A kingdom of love. And that's what I want to be. Amen? Hate yeah. sucks. Amen? Yeah. Love is in three. Surely, I say to you, unless you convert or convert it and become like a little child, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. You need to become like a little child. 
Meaning you got to humble yourself and then have simple little child belief. You know how a little child, they believe so easily? You tell them there's a Santa Claus and they believe it. There's a little tooth fairy, they're hiding their teeth there because they believe it. And he says for us to come into the kingdom of heaven, that we have to become like a little child and not say, well, how does it work? Oh, yeah. How does he come down the chimney? Just how does he eat the cookies? How does he make his the reindeer fly in the air? They don't ask all that. They just know he's coming. And he's yeah. going to bring gifts. And he's going to bring presents. Amen? Yeah. But we make it complicated. We want to know too many answers all at once. Before I do this, i got to know how it all works. i got to know where is he going to help me? What's the benefit? No, see, come in like a child. Yeah. Born again baby, amen? Come Start on. back yes. from zero. Yes. The Bible says that if anybody wants to be wise, that he should become a fool first. Amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah. So you have to become like a fool first, not meaning stupid, but okay. not know anything. He says you got to be a fool before you can become wise. And praise the Lord, I qualify instantly. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't have to become a fool. I was already there. So it was like going up from here. Amen. I ain't got to go down. I'm going up. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. We need to become like a child. Believe easily. Have the faith in things that we can't see. Like a little child. He never saw the tooth fairy. But he believed that he's there. Amen. Same thing like us. We haven't seen Jesus with our own eyes. But we know and we can testify that it is a real deal. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just as easy as believing Santa or the tooth fairy. We must also have that kind of faith. Faith like a little child. That's what it takes to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's simply what it takes. Simple childlike faith. It's called blind faith in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You don't see it with your physical eyes, but you can see it with the new spiritual eyes that God has given you. Amen. I can't see with my eyes, I can see with my eyes of faith that when Jesus came in that manger, kingdom came. Amen. Amen. That's right. I am no longer in darkness, brothers and sisters. I am no longer in the kingdom of death. I am no longer in the kingdom of hate. I am now in the kingdom of light. I am in the kingdom of life. And I am in the kingdom of love. Amen. In the kingdom of the son of his love. Amen. He loves me too much to let me go down. He loves me too much to let me get sick. He loves me too much to be in need of anything. Amen. He loves me too much to kill me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord loves me. Hallelujah. He loves me and I always tell people I'm his favorite. Eh? Amen. Because when I'm with him and he's around me, he's only seeing me. Even though he can see everybody at the same time, when he's around me, I know he's looking right at me. And only me. His focus is me. It's all about me. Amen. Hallelujah. Not about me hiring him, but all about me as far as taking care of me. Keeping me healthy. Keeping my relationships tight. Keeping my friendship strong. Yes. Keeping me healthy and joyful. Keeping that rest in my body. Yes. Keeping me praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. That's when I get the most rest when my hands are like this. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I hope you I hope you know what I just meant right there. Ooh. You yes. have to feel this stuff. I can't even explain the love of the Father. That loves me so much. I can't even explain to you. Amen. You don't even know what love is until you experience this kind of love. Amen. 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 That's right. Christmas is way more than a baby in a manger. Christmas to me is about kingdom come. Amen. Hallelujah. We've all heard the saying, I'm going to blast you to kingdom come. <laughs> Well, if you're going to blast me to kingdom come, then you need a gun that's going to blast me to the past. Amen. Because kingdom come was more than 2,000 years ago in a feeding trough. Amen? Amen. That's when kingdom come was king. Amen? Amen? That's right. Luke 7, 2, 7 says, She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in the manger. That night, 
God through Mary delivered us the kingdom of heaven. Amen. The kingdom of life. The kingdom of life. And the kingdom of love. Man, you can enter the kingdom of God today. Amen. You can enter the kingdom of God today. If you just simply surrender to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Whether he's your king or not, he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ruling in a heavenly kingdom where we're supposed to be dwelling in. We're not supposed to be dwelling on the earth. We're supposed to be dwelling in a spiritual kingdom that will never be done away with. A kingdom that will last forever. A kingdom that endures forever. And if this kingdom endures forever, and I'm in this kingdom that endures forever, guess what? I'm going to endure forever. 10,000 years from now, I'll still be praising God. 10,000 years from now, I'll still be giving God glory. And I'll still be alive. I'll have a fresh new body from the Lord that will never die. Amen. Can I get some glory for the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah.